matches of mine uh, watch some uh, you know some like uh, serial series in uh, netflix sometimes huh. so nice. got a lot of good suggestions so i've been watching it i've been watching that uh, series called fauda it's been it's been really good oh right right uh, i i hear it was in my suggestions as well okay. <laughs> i'll watch it yeah so otherwise otherwise uh, all good Yeah, otherwise all good. LD, just waiting to you know start playing again like everyone else. And actually, towards the end of today's session, we are going to have a guest appearance. My brother has some tricky questions for you. Oh, PC English, brother. <laughs> yeah, PC. I have to say about PC. You know, he's a, he's a great friend to me, and you know, he's a really nice guy to be around with. Uh, I, I was lucky enough to you know uh, be around him uh, when we were all playing the futures. We all had fun times. We played in Madurai, Trichy, a uh, couple of years, and uh, you know it's it's a good uh, positive energy uh, always around him, and uh, and he's a great guy to be around with. And even you, Anirudh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so let's get started. So I have I have a few. different kind of questions for you which is not entirely tennis related but a little bit tennis related so okay more of about the more about what happens in the atp what the whole scenario like so okay. yeah and in the last few in the last few live sessions of yours i heard you speaking about your tennis career about your juniors where you spent most of your time in spain and then and uh, one more Spain's thing anirudh i have to mention this it's really nice that you're taking this initiative you know uh, to learn and uh, like to give back to tennis and uh, for every one of us like who is stuck to learn and you know you're doing something really productive and uh, i think you should keep this going and anything you need or from my part i'm really happy to do yeah thank you thank you so much so yeah i just i want to make sure during this tough time everyone keeps learning everyone has something that they can take the smallest of the things from anyone so it doesn't really have to be again comes back from your brother pc i think he's a really great guy and i i'm sure he must have also you know been a part of this initiative so you know yes good yeah he, he he was the one who pushed me to do something like this and i was also up for it i i felt really it would nice. be a good idea to do really nice. something like this really yeah nice. so okay. so yeah coming back to your career your juniors you spent most of your time in spain then you made your transition in spain to the pro circuit so yeah in the previous interviews you were telling that uh, you had a series of losses before you won your first futures where you kept trying different things and yeah. it you had a few losses but uh, quite a few losses but you just kept coming back stronger and eventually you ended up winning the futures so, so yeah uh, what yeah go for it go so so what uh, i mean what different did you do to win the futures what changed in you where so yeah. yeah like you had if you had heard the previous uh, interviews which i had like you know when i was in spain you know i was there uh, for a few years and uh, the first few years it was really tough to win even a single match you know if i, I if i won one match i was like you know it's like it was like a big thing for me so you know that yeah. pushed me and uh, and uh, to be honest i didn't change anything in my game you know i kept growing as a player you know i kept learning uh, from my losses i took it in the right way uh, it it does hurt losing 
uh, like for everyone else but uh, the most important thing is to you know believe that you can do it and just to keep going at it because everyone is going to face losses first before they win you know and then you keep uh, doing the things which you which you have learned over your, over the years you know on court off court if, like i said in the a few days back everything is connected so i mean you you be positive you stay positive you give positivity you get it back in in multiples yes true very true it's just you just need to hang in there keep grinding it out day and day out Yeah, I mean, it, you're gonna have your tough uh, times, but uh, you know you got to stay strong in those times. You know, go back to your ones who believe in you. Don't lose them never in your life. You know, uh, parents, friends can be PC. Of course, it's PC, and you know, for you and all your good friends, your coaches, the you know, your parents, uh, they are the ones who are gonna be there all your life. So you know, I think. Uh, you just have to you know uh, be kind uh, stay positive and uh, you know keep fighting like the way you do like always you know so yes that that's a way, that's that's the most important thing for you to find the breakthrough yes, yeah i think even, because even, uh, uh, i think you you would also know about this you know you don't know when you're going to win a match you got when you're going to win a tournament you can win it from scratch you can win it any time you can lose six first rounds you can come back make a final you can make a, a run of quarter quarter semi you know uh, but the most important thing is that you know every match you play you should have something you know you should go with a plan you come out of the match you have to know you know what went wrong what went right you know what you can improve on i mean there are a few small things in every every match you know it's matter of a couple of points here and there so it, if it was in not in your hands it's fine but if you had a chance to win that match you should go back and you know you should try you know when you're sitting down on the change over you try to think you know okay uh, okay maybe i did this maybe i can change this you know within a fraction of yeah. few minutes and then you try not to do the same mistake again rather than you know putting yourself in a negative way because these things you know matter a lot the fraction of 5 10 minutes in a match can change big time and then you might be the next thing you know is the double break rather than just one break because you can always break them back you know so it's something like this the margins are really really small and even in the top level it's always 7 6 7 5 6 4 so it's it's just uh, yeah. you know and even if you're a breakdown or something you know never give up never lose hope just keep going keep fighting because matches can change like that like in a second yes very 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 true i completely agree with you and uh, yeah and uh, coming on to the next moving on to the next question you after your first futures you had you had like a lot of futures with you you tell you kept winning a lot of them and uh, eventually eventually after you got to a certain point like around 300 350 in your rankings you made the transition into challengers so how mentally how was it for you to make the transition because you were a seasoned pro in the futures you were you had the wins back in you so how was it mentally for you to just uh, move on to the challengers to be honest like how it was for me to start from nationals to go into futures it was as tough as that it was same way uh, you know but from winning uh, futures which didn't mean anything when i went to challengers it was very tough because uh, you know everyone was playing better in higher level was with their coaches uh, you know everything was much uh, more taken serious so you know i had to do a lot of right things to win one match so it keeps asking you you know questions so you keep learning by it every day you keep practicing with the tough guys you keep practicing more hours you know you don't say no for any practice i mean i remember when i was playing futures i used to go to the court at 8 o'clock and then come back at 6 try to find as much as possible practice you know uh, i used to lose that day or sunday uh, if i if we are still in the tournament maybe practice couple of days if not come back to sanchez casal train the next four days and then go back on the next friday you know uh, because there's no secret you keep learning from every session you 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 know push yourself you you get stronger as a person you know overall uh, and i think that's the only way like for me from future to challenger is the same like i told you from national uh, playing national tournaments to futures because it was very tough for me first when i started to play the futures in spain and uh, i liked it i you know i wanted to be there so you know i kept pushing myself every time in practice when and my mind was saying no i still you know trusted in the coaches 
and uh, just kept going you know so i think uh, if every single person you know just believes and keeps working hard eventually you know that work will pay off somewhere which which is what i keep saying to everyone even though i have not achieved everything but with my knowledge i'm saying yeah uh, very true and uh, challenges is, it makes you a lot stronger than the futures because in future that's what i feel because in future you're playing with you have a lot of friends around you you have you're playing with the same guys but in challenges probably you're the only indian in uh, somewhere in europe and you'll have to grind it out all along so yeah that's true also uh, when you uh, said about friends i think uh, you know it, re- it really helps to have a team around you you know even the players who you play uh, you know uh, it's it's uh, the bonding is good i feel you know in tournaments and i feel uh, a good team around you no matter who it is it can be you know any player from the circuit you know if you have those good vibes i think uh, you know eventually it will it will help you as a player also you know you are around all the time you go for dinner with some players i mean all these small things and uh, yeah challenges and then then challenges to adp is another step i mean which is a extremely tough step but uh, to win any match in any level i feel it's tough so i mean you should take the one so okay and uh, going on to the next one um you're super close to cracking top 100 in doubles and you're around 190 in singles i know it's very very tough to manage both so how is your mental frame of mind while planning tournaments so what what like it's you're super close to cracking top 100 and uh, but singles is a priority still for you yes. so how do you plan out tournaments yes totally with your partner is my priority yes singles is totally my priority but uh, you know from my young age i've always played doubles also uh, uh, i played singles and doubles in every tournament as much as i can so as it improves your volleys improves your returns because you have very less code to work your return with it improves the way you move into the net all these small things so uh, and i'm happy i'm you know very close to the 100 in doubles and uh, yeah i've been trying a lot in singles also but uh, like i like we know i mean we we can just keep you know putting hard work in and uh, eventually one day you know hoping uh, by god's grace uh, i can crack it yeah so but uh, how do you plan tournaments like see you so, fixed up for i mean plan for the season i try to uh, <laughs> like you know i think you know i play a lot of tournaments i like competition you know uh, i try to play a lot of tournaments i think uh, you know i have to uh, pick the right tournaments now during these tough times it's tough for the schedule also because no one knows uh, what's in store for us in 2020 but uh, i think uh, it'll be good to you know mix up tournaments between challengers atp is depending on the ranking but my advice to all the uh, players who are playing futures is to play a lot of tournaments you know that's why you learn a lot you know even when you're training you do learn but uh, when when you play a tournament uh, like you know if you can like you know three tournaments and then one week off i think you learn more in the tournament because uh, i mean you're into it you want to win uh, you feel the pressure you have to control so many things you know you're alone there struggling you know makes you fight more i mean these all these small things uh, help you grow as a player and as a person yes very very and uh, yeah so that's playing a lot of tournaments helps helps you get uh, stronger more mature so what do you think that's i i even i feel the same thing i need i feel all the players of my age need to play a lot more tournaments and even if the slightest of the chance they have to mix it up with challenges because you never know when you're going to get the slightest breakthrough so i feel uh, i played i played two challenges uh, like last year and one this year so bangalore i saw you huh bangalore and bangalore i saw you you played bangalore, yeah, bangalore and pune yeah, i played pune as well okay. so i was fortunate enough to get in and win around the uh, singles as well as doubles i remember i don't so so yeah it's is just one or two tournaments which matter the most so you need to just keep competing that's what i feel yeah and to play and uh, last year how many how many futures did you play overall around 30 uh, no. 25 no no 20 uh, no 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Around 18, 20. 18? Okay. 18, 20. I mean, yeah, that's the only way. You just keep going whenever possible. You try to play a lot of tournaments and uh, just yeah. uh, keep believing. And uh, I think that's the, the only way to, you know, uh, to get stronger and uh, tougher. Yeah. And, um, yeah, the next question. So... You face you would have faced this situation a lot of times in your career, where uh, you're being outplayed by an opponent even though you're playing well, or on certain days you're underperforming, not being able to. You're you're doing everything possible, but still not working for you. So personally, how do you tackle those situations, like mentally and emotionally? Say you're, you're not able, to, you're, your opponent is outplaying you. You're doing everything possible, or you're underperforming on that particular day. How do you tackle those situations? A good question, actually. No. One second on it. Yeah. It's actually a very good question. Uh, I feel... Um, I get... I, I exactly know what you're asking. So, yeah. Like, I think, uh, you know, when I was young, I used to rush a little bit more uh, like you know uh, I, I didn't take time between points you know uh, which is what uh, my one of my coaches John Ball says you know I'm grateful for always uh, yeah. who helped me over the years uh, always has told me you know take your time breathe don't rush toss the ball high it, it sounds very like uh, small things but uh, you know if you take another 10 seconds before you serve the serve goes in really so I mean yeah. these are the things and you slow down the speed mix up you know, mix up as much as you can, if, even if you don't feel it that day. But uh, no matter what, you got to make at least five balls every ball, every point. That's what he told me, you know. Serve and try to stay there, five five balls every point, and let's see what happens, you know. That's the golden rule. So, and I, I, I very much, you know, I'm with that. And, um, you know, even when I was playing future, he used to tell me this, slow down. But it's a tendency to, to rush. I think you should go to your towel, you know, take your time. Take your 20 seconds, you know, come back and then regroup and keep going. Because uh, what if the other guy feels the same way in the next 10 minutes, you know? So, and there, were, there are many matches, you know, which always happen. You're two breaks down, you're five two down and then you win at 75. I mean, so the lesson there is, you know, you don't show your negativity. Try to not show it at all. Try to, you know, control as much as you can and keep fighting in the right way, in the right spirit. Uh, keep attacking, you know, uh, to his weakness. Keep, uh, try to do as much as you can to put him away, you know. Try, try to not keep him comfortable with the best you can, with whatever you have. I think that, you know, and then the match changes so quickly before you know it. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. It can it's, be anything. Yeah, it, it can it, be anything. It can be a come on from you, you know, criticism off and then you're into the match. It's off yeah. five minutes and you right back. So I think these are small things, you know, which everyone should, uh, you know, when they play, they should try to, you know, I mean, uh, learn and keep going for it. And uh, yes, very true. And uh, as far as uh, whenever I've seen you play, I've seen you, I've noticed that you play a lot, trusting your instinct. You, okay, you feel you have to do this, you go and do that. So, but in these kind of situations, when you're getting outplayed or when you're underperforming, do you still back your instincts or do you stick to the basics, try to play it uh, safe, give like a better margin in play? Uh, uh, I wouldn't you... change anything. I mean, uh, I, I mean, I mean, trying in the sense, in the trying in the way you feel. For me, it's always been my instinct. Whatever comes first, I go for it because sometimes you know i i do what has to be done correctly i still lose end up losing and then after the match i am like why did i do it you know it it didn't strike yeah. that was not the first thing which struck me so yeah i mean it's always important to you know uh, know yourself really well and try to go with your instincts it can be you can be a player where you know okay i need to go back to the basics so that's what you've been doing so it keeps you know, so whenever you're down, you go back to your, you know, confidence, which for me yes. is my instinct. For you, can be anything else or it can be the same thing. So, I mean, uh, 
but you have to trust yourself you got you got to believe you you have a chance from the first point to the last point that's the key for any man i'm pr- i'm pretty sure a lot of players have trouble dealing with these kind of situations especially uh, emotionally mentally they might be fine but they react too they become too emotional at these situations because of which they start getting negative and uh, throwing tantrums and stuff i mean also so, you learn by watching matches from other players uh, i mean it's a learning process on it like when i was 15 and if i had known this i wouldn't have you know shouted or i wouldn't have you know uh, uh got angry with myself left the match and come, you know all these things when you lose you learn you you don't really lose you learn you learn you learn you try to get better each day uh like all the all the top players say i mean they are right there they you know and they still keep saying yeah. we still learn we still you know take uh, you know the positive things from each other we still you know all these small things uh, make a big difference and i mean you learn like over these years i've learned through my struggles through my experience through my good wins through my losses you know you learn and uh, i think uh, the most important thing is to compete you know that's the most important thing compete give all you have no regrets after the match that's it and then you go you still keep working hard if you lose you win play the next day yeah you need to you need to believe in yourself during those situations as well yes yes So that's, that's, that's the, the main important. that's the most important yeah tell me something about your wall practice ani uh wall practice that's uh i i have like a 10 meter space and uh, a small wall i would say like 2 meters or 3 meters so my brother just keeps feeding me balls and i keep hitting the wall so that's I about think, it uh, that's But, what uh, we all should do if we have you know space in the terrace or something because it's a really good thing and uh, like this you also have some touch and uh, you know and also do some fitness like always it's good it's very good i i yeah. was speaking to pc i have lost, day, I've lost a lot i was speaking to pc the other day and he told me so that's why i asked yeah, yeah. and uh, because of this i lost like a lot of balls <laughs> it lot just keeps balls. going out it's fine i <laughs> but yeah it's at least uh, good that i'm keeping myself in touch like that's... the other day i saw book eating in the wall in a house you know it was on exactly that that's, that's the same thing really that's nice. what i do <laughs> very good and uh, yeah how is uh, time going for you in this lockdown for me uh actually i'm learning something new i'm learning spanish oh habla so español. that señor <laughs> uh see <laughs> it's taking me some time but yeah i'm uh, i'm good try a kind of, i'm kind of uh learning it trying to learn it faster so that i can i can have you been to spain yes no you've been you've been to spain no i've never been to europe never been. so it lets okay. you when you go there soon yeah so to talk to and yeah that's all that's good the widely spoken languages as well so okay that's and uh, apart from that um i try i'm trying to inculcate a in habit of reading books which i don't usually do but i'm doing that a lot often now Just, I'm just forcing myself to read books. Nice. Try to develop a habit and be learn a lot from that as well. That's and apart from that, I have I have my course sessions in the morning with uh, the RBTA gang. Yeah, yeah. And, you uh, told me. You team. told me the other day. That's good. That's really good. Yeah, Nikki and, and all all of them. Yeah, yeah. I even saw Nikki's yeah. interview, which was really nice. And who else have you done it with? Nikki, Manish, Manish. Abhinav, Abhinav. I saw. Abhinav. Yeah. I I just did with these three and the other. <laughs> nice. Keep it going. Nice. And yeah, and uh, evenings are generally fitness and tennis, a little bit of tennis. Good. And yeah, that that takes. Well, it's of really hot there, no? In Hyderabad, so I mean. Yes, it, it's super. It's dry heat, so it's super yeah, hot. Very tough. You can't really okay. go at like three or four in the evening and start playing. Mm-hmm. It's very very hot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, and ap- apart from that, some Netflix shows and I play uh, Ludo and Call of Duty with the. Uh, Uh, other tennis gang. <laughs> nice, nice. Ludo, okay, nice. nice. Yeah. So I sometimes play poker online. Oh, online poker, nice. Yeah. Just for. <laughs> I, I still remember. I still remember yeah. the story of yeah. uh, you going to the casino in Singapore and having fun. <laughs> oh, me, PC, Vijay Sundar. Yeah, 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 just fun. Yeah. Good, good time. So, yeah, just fun. <laughs> 
We didn't win one round. Okay. We didn't win one round. That's the beauty of this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And over me and PC looking at the looking at the roulette and we are like, what is going on here? We keep black <laughs> comes red, red black. Then we left. Yeah. <laughs> after like after. <laughs> yeah, that, that's another experience. You just have you have a lot of fun. Exactly, you just have a lot of fun. You know, we enjoyed our time and then we got back. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, okay, a few more questions. So, how? How uh, would you suggest a guy who's ranked say seven hundred, eight hundred, to plan out tournaments for the season? So they, we usually say guys are on my age and who are seven hundred, eight hundred. We, you, how how do we mix up challenges and futures? So do I we think, have to do that or yeah, yeah. to a stage playing futures? That's a good question. So when I was seven, eight hundred, uh, I was in Spain and I was playing. Almost future every week of future because the level there was very tough. So I used to go there, yes. play qualies, win a round, maybe win second round, third round, very tough. Even if I qualify, no chance the first round. So I mean, yes. for you guys, I feel you should play as many tournaments as possible. And if hopefully you know they have more tournaments in India, uh, which will help all of us, like you know, uh, futures or challengers, so that we can play. So I think your goal should be to play around 25 weeks at least. In a year, and uh, just keep mixing it up. If you feel confident, play an extra week. If you don't feel confident, come back one week, ten days, put in work, and then go go to a place and then stay there for three four weeks. Come back, you know. Uh, but uh, you know, take every match very serious. Uh, keep learning. Uh, don't put pressure on yourself about wins or losses. You know, you keep improving, and eventually you will see the wins automatically coming. So, so mix it up with 15s, 25s, as well as challenges when you're 700, 800. Depending yeah. on how confident. Yeah, I think you should play around 20 futures and fi- try to play around five challenges. But the higher the tournament okay. you get in, in entries, you have to go for the higher tournament always. Golden rule. Yeah. And keep entering for all the challenges always because you never know. You might get into the qualies at the last minute because always on Fridays, uh, people pull out last minute. Like there's yeah. always a chance for you to get in. You know, yes. if it's a Schengen country, have your Schengen visa ready, be ready to fly out, you know. Like, the, uh, I mean, have a mix, like risk three, four weeks like that. Because you get one break, you qualify, you make quarters, you're there. You don't have to play future. You get what I'm saying. Exactly. Right, right. And the difference, you know, it's a matter of few points. So you can do it. You're a lefty. <laughs> Big chance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Vishnu is telling me to go big. T on the second serve and all will be well. <laughs> all is well, like Vishnu. Serve is the key, like Vishnu says. Yeah. I totally agree. <laughs> yes. So, and the most important thing on the serve is trusting your instinct as well. Yeah. Okay, if you big second, just go big second. Exactly. Doesn't matter what the situation is. You're a lefty, Yanni. You go anywhere in that uh, box, it's tough to return. <laughs> With the yeah. spin of your serve, it's very tough. So yeah, I like I like the lefty wide on deuce, flat wide or the kick wide. So the kick wide on deuce. It's a yeah. deadly so it's so tough to return. Yeah, I, that's that's one particular area where I need to be more confident with myself. I'm I'm confident going the slider T and the slider wide, but uh, kick uh, because that's the back end for most of most of the players. Yes, but so if you go going, kick wide on the tee, you know, it's so tough to return because the ball is coming the other way and it's going away from you. Yeah. And it's tough to control this way. So, I mean, that's a very good serve which you should, you know, try to practice. Yeah, I, I, I've actually done that a few times. I've gotten a lot of uh, free points with that. It's uh, People just don't, the players just don't uh, eat that serve. But I need to back myself up better exactly. with that serve. Exactly. I, Vishnu is asking if there is one thing which you have to, you know, f- uh, that is important on the serve, what is that? Vishnu, I think you know it. I think uh, it's about uh, getting on your groove, you know, getting the timing right. Uh, not the power, not, uh, you know, uh, to, to get on your rhythm, you know, the motion, the flow. I think that's the key for uh, anyone who's serving. That's what I feel. Once you get the timing right, it flows automatically. Yeah. 
yeah the flow and making the toss the the swing uh, you know whatever you do the things when the serve goes for a yes you keep you know following it you know it should become automatic i think that's the key you just keep you just keep visualizing that yeah. and just keep working yeah. on it exactly and and follow the follow the motion yeah yeah exactly so so yeah and you are one of the biggest servers in india so uh it's <laughs> A lot of, a lot of. I'm trying, I'm trying to serve. Serve is the key for me. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, serve and life is easier. Yeah. Serve is easier. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, it's a weapon for you basically. Yeah. You made it a weapon. I think serve is a very important part of tennis. And serve and return, like uh, Ramnath and Krishnan sir told on one of the uh, his videos, like you know. Uh, Which I saw, he said, serve is really, really important. So I totally agree with him. And uh, yeah, moving on away from tennis, what happens inside the circuit? I just want to know. I'm just curious to know what what really happens in in the ATP tour when you are playing those tournaments and uh, the challenge. I've seen a little bit of the challenge tour, but the ATP tour, like what? The, I heard there are some uh, player tire levels or something. Uh, Player, uh, group A, Group B. So there's uh, Division you... One, Division Two. Uh, so Division One is basically 200 and below for the players. Two or two on rank 200 in uh, singles or top 100 in doubles and below. Uh, okay. And uh, Division Two is 200 and above. So basically, you know, you have the subscription fee of thousand to fifty dollars, I don't know, thousand five hundred dollars every year, and uh, you get uh, subscription to tennis TV. uh many discounts i mean tennis varo there's a lot of things and uh, i mean it's, uh, it's that's about it and also you have this pension uh if you if you be in the top uh, 100 in singles for 5 years uh you get pension if you're there for 4 years you get 80% pension and if you're there for 3 years you get 60% pension so pension uh, is something which comes to you after you you know finish your tennis like you know up to a certain period oh, so- of time so it's like a backup and uh, i mean the lot of good initiatives which the atp is taking and uh, i also attended this i think it's one of your questions because you told me the yesterday like about atp university uh, exactly. i i have I, i attended atp university in 2018 and uh, they teach you about everything about the rules i have it here i, I took it actually for you from the thing so how the atp is uh, the structure of atp uh, you know the membership and benefits for players player pension they teach you all these things uh, these uh, officiating rules anti anti doping what medication you can okay. take what yeah. you can't you know uh, and uh, anti corruption and also they also teach you uh, on like uh, you know if somebody tries to you know insult you on uh, facebook or instagram like how to react try to yeah. contact atp and all these things you know which is like very important true, true. and how to handle your social media they give you tips on how to do it how to post and uh, there's so, so many things yeah insights you get and that was a so, really nice that... thing which was done by atp uh, it was taken care by them <laughs> we saw the atp yeah. world tour finals so it was really nice ah uh, okay so is is that compulsory to do or When you're yeah, if you're 200 and below, and if you're a Division One member, you should do it once, at least. Okay. And it's a compulsory thing for all the players who 200 and below. So soon, I'll see you there. You'll be there. Yeah. Hopefully, yes. Even yes. I, I believe I can be there. So yeah. You you will. Do <laughs> we play we play on the same tour. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And uh, and there's one more question. Okay, which is going with the circulating a lot nowadays. about uh, the financial aid which is being uh, which is being made by the top rank players for the lower rank players so what are your thoughts on that it's I mean, there I a lot of i don't going. mind actually I, there's no not, I, i mean uh, whatever the atp decides i'm okay you know this small this thing mm-hmm. i'm really not worried about i mean if they if they okay. tell the top players to give some money for the lower level players and it's totally fine if, if the, it's up to the top players to give or not i mean i, I don't want to get into that yeah, yeah to be honest yeah, it make actually makes sense uh, it's 
Yeah, there are there because are a few, a few want to give, a few don't want to give. It's a, it's totally their decision, you know. If somebody yeah. asks me, I would say I would be neutral. I would be I would not be here. I would not be there. If they ask, yeah, I would give. If they don't, I would. But I think uh, yeah. during these times, you also stay home, and uh, you know, there's not much of uh, expense. I think for everyone. So I mean. it's it's fine man it's still one or two more months the entire world is uh, struggling you know with this covid so i mean it's tough times i think we should all stay positive and uh, that's it and just uh, help each other out yeah so that's about it anna those are my questions and uh, thank you so much for doing it now my brother has a few tricky <laughs> questions for you so I mean, you're doing <laughs> he, a very uh, good job i i would have to say this uh, you keep it going and uh, i want to see many more big players coming on this yeah I'll, okay i'll try and get, i'll try and uh, pester a few big players as well you, you need <laughs> any help on that ask me i'll try also yeah sure sure That's thank cool. you so thank much thank you I'll... for uh, getting me into this and uh, and uh, i think uh, yeah you should all, we should all stay positive and uh, let's be in this together yes completely and uh, yeah thank you so much i'm pretty sure that whatever you spoke is very informative for the teenagers for the guys of my age how to go about tennis how things are how things work and i'm very happy i did this with you happy. and uh, yeah 